raise money for charity everywhere we go is because we are blessed souls. We're privileged, we all live in nice homes, I'm pretty sure a lot of you do, and we have the affordability to travel around the world. And then we are served by the most beautiful, kind people in these hotels who have such a little amount compared to us. And in life, there are people that can't stand that. I'm one of them, and all I do is give to charity. But I'm nothing compared to the ladies next to me, because they take that stage further, and they make sure that they do something other than just giving a bit of money. They're the people we give the money to. So before I even introduce them, allow the call for the fact that they are people running charities. Give them a hand. Now, you've all been so generous, those of you who contributed. Thank you to everybody that brought a gift. Clap those people. Thank you for the auction donation, Bahrain. That's good, Bahrain. For those of you, it was Oriol who won in the end, but that was so funny between Oriol and uh, Saman last night. We raised a wonderful $2,000. Big clap! <laughs> so, part of that donation is going to Roberta here. She'll introduce herself shortly. And then we gathered money from both WFN and SFN to give to Jackie here. Jackie is June Steenkamp's friend. She was there at the court every day when Paul June was going through that awful court case with Oscar. And they will both talk to you about their charities now. So, Roberta, you can take the microphone first. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, as you know, my name is Roberta. I work for a local charity based in Germiston, Lambton. Our focus is on children, so we work with children that are removed by the courts, so their parents are found unfit. Sometimes it's abandonment, sometimes it's abuse, sometimes it's drug-related, and sometimes it's pure finances. These children then come to us, and we work with them for a two-year period, sometimes shorter and sometimes longer, depending on where the family is and how far they need to go we then work with them. Once the children are placed with us, we look after them holistically. So we are responsible for everything. We're responsible for clothing, food, transport, medical, you name it, it's our lady. So this kind of donation is really something that all NGOs in this country are struggling. So it's a blessing disguise and we thank you. But apart from looking after 19 children, we've also had to become a bit clever and develop a business model. So we run a psychology centre which offers therapeutic services to the community as well as to 15 schools that we work with. We, uh, we also run a community outreach program where we go into the schools and we work with the children and the teachers because they face horrific things. I mean, they also face rape, abuse, teenage pregnancies, kids stabbing each other just because they looked at the kid the wrong way. So we've got in there, not taking the power away from it, but worked with these kids worked with these teachers, and I promise you, it's amazing to see the results with some of these children, once you give them knowledge, that they just lead the way. We, last year, we were very lucky to touch over 25,000 children in our community program. In our residential program, we look after 90 children. We were able to place back six children to their families, and that is a blessing, because it's not always possible. So, <clears throat> Apart from offering to services to children and working in the community in the educational sector, we also are trying to become a leader in childcare. So we offer training to other organisations and we offer mentorship as well. We've been around, that's the, something that's quite important, for 98 years. Whoa! So we are there for the next 100 years um, and our therapeutic centre has been running for the last 15 years, sorry, 12 years. So we, we're there to stay, we keep evolving with times, and we're so thankful to find people like you that are opening their hearts. Thank you very, very much. So, full slow down. So, from SFN to your wonderful charity, thank you for such an interesting insight to what you do. Sounds wonderful. Keep up the great work, and we hope that helps you. Big clap, everyone. Jackie, and tell us about the foundation that was set up in Viva's memory. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your good question. I'm a 
actually moved because this is our first big donation from the River Foundation. I think you all know that we went through seven months in the case of Oscar Pistorius. June is so appreciative of what we have done for the new team. She wanted to be here, but she's traveling to Australia to be raising funds for this organization. It's going to be assisting women in South Africa. We do have others, but this is one organization that is going to be big and it's going to be a non-racial. Remember what happened is that I'm a member of parliament, but I'm a leader of the Progressive Women's Movement of South Africa. And I'm also a member of the International Congress of the Women's League, but in this case, I was standing for women of South Africa. And what actually touched us with this case, they are staying in the Eastern Cape, we are staying in Houthi. In the first week of the bay, we found that there was none of the family. And when we found out why they are not in court, and we just got an answer of saying they cannot afford. And for us, it was a pain for women of South Africa. We ran it around, and we made sure that we get accommodation for them for seven months. We made sure that we have transport for them, and we made sure that they were in the city of Swani for the whole duration without any problem. It was very, very pathetic. I am one of those that actually took an effort after the case to go and see where they come from. Because always we associate poverty with black, and it's not the case. It doesn't have color. And when I had to go and see where Jews income comes from and bury, I found that the money that they spent to take their daughter to school to be an artist, actually they failed to get whatever. She wanted to build a house for them. They never had a house of their own. They were renting all their time. They never had a car that was first car that you buy for yourself. They were also, they were always having a second hand car that you find you also were not working. And when I had all those things in call and had to go and be there, and I made an effort to go and sleep in their house where they were renting. But I can tell you, blessings from God and the grace of God, they have just bought their first house now. that all these things don't have color. When I was in court, and I think it will be revealed in my book, for the first time, people couldn't understand a black woman will run around to make sure that it will do the way. And if we wouldn't have done that, this court case today, it would be one of those cases that goes to the dream. We have followed all the processes from court one to the last court, and we thank God that today, Oscar is going to be sentenced on murder and those are the graces of God. And we are doing this so that nobody should do it to anyone. We all are given the gift to live, and nobody has a right, a right to take it away. And I want to thank people like yourself that this will be something that will unite us in the country and in the world to understand that abuse is not a South African thing, it's all over the world. I've been to Sweden, I've been to Ghana, I've been to everywhere. And I found that people are hiding behind their status, but children are dying, some are raped. And it's high time that we speak about things that are not going good for us. And I'm saying, all of us, with one year started, I really want to thank you. And it goes a long way with us, and I'm sure the relationship will not stop here. And when you come next time, you'll see this foundation will be all over. And organizations like the lady who was here will try to actually build them up to see that we run. Because in the progressive women's movement, it's political and non-political women. We are all together. When it comes to issues of women abuse and children, we are united in it. And I'm thankful that we have men and males around us that actually do the right thing. And I really need women to give them a lot of help. Yes.
It was also our World Trade Network members, and we have $3,000 for your foundation. And a message to you, Jim, and Kelly. We love you, and we're so sorry for your loss. And a grievous memory. Um, yeah. Thank you guys, go have some lunch.